to my channel. Today I'll be talking all about brows, how to grow them, what I do, how I shape them, how I groom them, etc. The world of brows is here. <laughs> so my eyebrows are everything. I will never touch my eyebrows again. I wish I had a picture to show you guys how bad my eyebrows were when I was in high school but those memories are burned. So I started waxing my eyebrows when I was 13 years old in sixth grade. I remember that very clearly because I was the only girl in my class to have bushy brows and then I finally got it done. I used to wax and thread my eyebrows from the time I was 13 to the time I was 18. I realized when I was 18 that I wanted thick brows so I stopped tweezing them, I stopped waxing them, I even stopped plucking them. Um, and now I only pluck them when I have like little straight and of course I have strays now but I prefer the bushy like natural brow look over the on fleek look um, but that's just me you know everybody has their own preference to each his own but yeah so once I completely stopped plucking threading and waxing I began to treat my brows and just let them grow out naturally like that is the best thing you can do for your brows if you do want to grow them out and I started using oils different essential oils just to help promote the growing process and nothing worked till I started using this bad boy right here you can get this on Amazon it is Jamaican black castor oil and I promise you guys if you guys use this for about four months straight you guys will see results so for me Jamaican black castor oil was the most effective method however if you guys do want alternatives you guys can use coconut oil which is rich in vitamin E and iron also you can use olive oil which is pretty standard and you should have it around the house anyway or if you want to go straight to the source you can use vitamin E oil which is very potent so it is more effective so every night I would use a cotton swab, just take a little bit, rub it on my eyebrows and leave it on overnight. So if you guys really want thicker brows, you have to stop waxing them, you have to stop threading them, you have to stop plucking them, you have to stop blading them. You have to stop doing all that jazz and just leave your brows alone and nourish them and hydrate them and they will grow. So if you guys want to see how I get these brows, just keep on watching. So as I stated before, the fuller the better for me. So I don't tweeze my brows at all. If I ever do get like random stray hairs around here, I'll pluck them, but I never go into the shape of my brow. To start off, I just line my brow with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waves in dark brown. And I just create a line on top of my brow and below it just to give me an indication of where I should be filling. And once I have the shape for both brows, I just use a concealer to clean up the lines that I've created. The concealers also help disguise the straight hairs that I refuse to pluck. So once my brows look a little refined, I use the Anastasia Brow Duo in dark brown and just fill the ends of my brows. So now that my arch is defined, I go in with the Maybelline brow gel and just make my hairs look thicker. So because I do not touch my eyebrows, I don't have much of a shape, so shading them in and filling them in really helps create angles which frame my face. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Things are gonna get pretty hairy around here.